Well, first of all, it was the cooperation between procurement and finance. Uh, in the beginning, it was a finance-driven pro project, which um, well was not given the best results. But since procurement actually supports it, uh, we have made some uh, big advan uh, advancements. Um, secondly, um, well, maybe not good to tell, but we did uh, pay for some of our strategic suppliers the costs mm -hmm. of. Uh, enrolling to our business provider um, just to convince them to start I mean now they are paying for themselves but just to give that push mm -hmm. uh, in order for them to uh, to start working with mm -hmm. uh, with the provider and thirdly is interrupt mm -hmm. so we make use of interrupt because um, yeah in some countries uh, supply is already chosen a certain provider mm -hmm. and they do not want to change that just because yeah, for each customer. Mm -hmm. So we do have some big suppliers that uh, send invoices to, our, to us via Interop. Interop. Yeah. Via interoperability agreement. We do uh, with 30 posts and B process at the moment and in the Nordics we are actually setting up with Avanex and Itella. We had to do it because some large suppliers were already on those networks yeah. and they were not willing to to uh, to do it via OB10. Yeah. So in order for them to convert to e-invoices, we had no choice but to do it. Based upon invoice volume, mostly, but also uh, the business. So DPDHL is in a very sensitive business, whereby we make use of uh, large shipment uh, uh, suppliers or transportation suppliers, whereby we are a supplier but also a customer. So it's a very sensitive relationship yeah. and we don't want to force suppliers to do something uh, which they may say, you know, no, I don't want to do it and I even consider, you know, stopping doing business uh, with DPDHL because of that. More or less, it's responsible for 50% of our results. Right. More or less, yeah.